Coach Bailiff. We also have um, quarterback Miko Smalls and linebacker uh, Nina Bebehan. Okay, you want to uh, start with the statement? Sure, I will we'll take questions. You know, the uh, a tribute to their program, they did a great job today. Uh, Coach had them ready to, to roll. Uh, you know, they uh, beat us on offense, defense, point of attack. Not sure where we are on the special teams, but uh, Mankato's Minnesota State played with great energy and had a, a good game plan. Uh, you know, I think early in the game, we came here like we're going to win this football game. Let, let me tell you that, you know, we came here expecting to win. Uh, at halftime, you know, we still thought we were in this and we're going to take over the second half like we had most of the season. Uh, you know, and we also knew defensively that we had to stop the run. We could not stop the, the run today. That was one of the keys to our victory. And we knew offensively we need to make every drive count. Uh, you know, they're a good football team. We came up here, gave the best shot, fell a little short. But I'm very proud of the effort that this football team played with today. And I, I really thought Coach uh, Joe Bershaner, uh, the offensive coordinator, had a nice game plan. Uh, against us, and uh, you know, early that first drive, they just uh, went down the field and scored. That's very uncharacteristic. You know, we've been able to stop the run really good the majority of the season. So, uh, proud of these guys. Uh, didn't want this journey to be over. You know, I've, I've been nothing but sheer fun uh, with this football team this year. And uh, the winning this senior class uh, in the history of A uh, and M Commerce. Sure, proud of how those seniors uh, took us in as a uh, first-year head coach there, and, and did nothing but work hard and do everything that we asked. But you know, like I said, didn't want this journey to be over because we're having a lot of fun. And what a great program Minnesota State of Maine All right, thank you. Good questions. Miko, was it a little frustrating in the second half because you guys seemed to go down to the like, 20, 25 every drive and just just couldn't get that final push. Was it a lot of frustrating in that second half there, being able to move the ball pretty well until you got to the 20 or so? I would say so. Um, as an offense or as anybody, you don't want to go down and be successful and then get it right next to the red zone and then not um, execute and not win and not get a score up. So, yes, it was frustrating. The name of the linebacker is very active today. You're one of the four-year seniors, 49 minutes over the last four years. Uh, Y'all played your hearts out today. Talk a little bit about this group and the – as Coach is saying all year, the journey you've been on, not just this year, but the last four years total. You know, this senior class is, is remarkable. And um, you know, when we came in, you know, 2015, um, you know, a lot of us, you know, bought in and we, um, you know, we ran with it. And, um, you know, just, just a bunch of group, a group of guys who just love to play with them, um, love to be around them, and, you know, just great class. Yeah, the, the Minnesota State offensive line gets a lot of hype or a lot of credit for their offense. And how would you assess that offensive line uh, as, as far as some of the other teams you played against? Um, they're definitely a very uh, talented group. Um, we, we knew they'd be, um, but uh, you know they, they just, like Coach said, they dominated from point of attack to score line of scrimmage. And, uh, just a bunch of talented group of guys. That, uh, Coach, I thought the game really turned on that interception return. But there's no doubt. Uh, Look, just is that a play you guys have run successfully this year, or is this something you saw? No, that was a brand new one. Uh, you know, sure worked in practice. Uh, but the the one of the things we had the attrition of the season, we were running out of some people, some positional people, especially at running back. So we were trying to. Do, do some things we characteristically wouldn't do to try to get some some quick easy points, and it went the other way on us. Uh, but I thought at that point, then there, you know, you get behind by 14, uh, and when that happened, we needed to score on that next drive, and we didn't answer. We didn't answer. And I would like to say that offensive line, though, too. You look at the 17 film, and you see how they've uh, grown. They work very well together. They communicate. 
Miko, this is your first season here at AM Commerce. Play, get to play 14 games, go three rounds deep in the playoffs. You still got two more years of eligibility ahead of you. What kind of momentum do you think this playoff run will help this program carry on? It's not the momentum that we wanted. Obviously, we'd rather go to the national championship. But I would say um, with the amount of talent that we have, uh, a sophomore that's not going to be a junior class, all the injured people that are coming back, I would say that our momentum right energy G would be extremely positive and pretty sure we're looking forward to next season. And then, Coach, talk a little bit more about those seniors and the effort that they put in for your coaches this year when a lot of places, a lot of seniors could give up on it, the coaching staff. And well, they yeah, one, of, one of the things you try to do when you take it over the program is let them know we got to build on the momentum that was already established there and keep those expectations and, and goals high. Uh, you know, Nima, you know, since the day we arrived, has been nothing but a blessing to us as many of the seniors have on, uh, you know, our goal was to win a national championship this year. A little short, you know, uh, you know, what program do you take over? Uh, you know, it's an elite division two program that you're taking it over and you have those type of expectations, you know. And, uh, you know, they thought we did a great job of uh, blending the new, new culture with some of the old. Um, and, you know, and, and, and as a coach, you really, I believe this, you, you, when you inherit, you take over a program, you've adopted 105 sons. Uh, and you want to live. You want you want to be the guy that lets your dreams come true, and you help them achieve their goals. And you know, and and as hard as it is, I fell a little short. You know, we had a great run, but it wasn't the run we all wanted. We we wanted to go all the way. Uh, you know, it stings. It hurts uh, when you fall short. But once again, what program do you take over? That those are the expectations, and you know you, you feel so much you've let some guys down, and you know it's a it's a, a feeling in your gut as a coach you don't like because you fall in love with these guys, you know, and uh, you know hopefully from this I'll, I'll get to write a lot of recommendation letters when they graduate, you know, and hopefully as a coach you get invited to your weddings, and hopefully as a coach you know you've made an impact just not on that football field, but in life, where we've established a relationship of trust that'll last, you know, for, for years to come. Last question. All right, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, I think we're talking about Oh, yeah, I know we're kind of, Awesome. Thanks, sir. Thanks, Thanks, sir.